Hey, what's going on? It's Righteousness Maurice coming back at you with another video. And this goes out to all my noblemen, my righteous men, my men of any creed, of any race, um, who will pick up a rifle of another country invades. You know, righteous men who do good things in the right times and good things in the wrong times in front of people and behind closed doors. These videos are for you. And today's topic is Susan Rice verse Snoop Dogg. <laughs> and though I wasn't even going to address this because everyone's talking about it, but the only reason why I'm addressing this is because, you know, they're black or whatever. And I got to put my two cents in it. If I was Snoop Dogg, I would not even be worried in the least amount of anything. Listen, let me tell you why. Okay. Susan Rice is fucking trash. She proved why she cannot be the head of Secretary of Defense, along with Hillary Clinton. Okay? And you about to tell me, you about to, you have an army? Bitch, I, what army? Where? Because I ain't certainly worried about them fucking army that you send for me, because I could see them coming a mile away. With, with your strategies? Yeah, I'll see them coming a mile away. Okay? You're like that. That that Persian king from 300 who sent all his mass drove, all his mass warriors in into battle against 300 Spartans and lost all at the same time. Like you, your your strategies and in, in, in ways of killing somebody is fucking terrible. OK, you because of a few U.S. policies, you let nine Marines and a bunch of American civilians get shot the fuck up by Benghazi's uh, radicalists, all right, because of a couple of laws, when anybody else would have been like, fuck the laws, no American left behind, let's get them the fuck out of there, no, nah, you let motherfuckers die, okay, I ain't worried about you, you are a shame, you're a poor general when it comes to, you know, African American, Shaka Zulu would, Shaka Zulu and the African generals of the past laughing at your bunk, punk ass, Okay, laughing at you, uh, Susan Rice. You were trash. Okay, a, a military strategy. If if they if somebody came to me with a gun to my head and was like, "Hey, listen, you got to pick all the secret agents Susan Rice has, or you got to pick the Crips and Bloods of L.A." Bitch, I'm picking the the Crips and Bloods of L.A. Because at least I know we not gonna lose too many people. If I fuck with with the, your people and your strategy, I know niggas is dying. We're going to lose everybody. These white guys, black guys, anybody under Susan Rice is going to die. These are fucking crash course dummies, okay? So that's why I wouldn't even be tripping if I was Snoop Dogg. I would be cooling. Like, bitch, try me. Try me, okay? Say hello to my little friend, okay? Try me because you can't even protect nine Marines, and civilians in another country because of a few U.S. policies, my nigga. You are trash, okay? And you make African-American women as a general look fucking bad, okay? Terrible. I never want to see African-American women in any military strategy ever a fucking again on a national scale, okay? You or Hillary. Fuck that. I don't want no woman in that position at all, okay? You guys are trash. Now you want to come at Snoop Dogg because Gail King did something wrong? Bitch, please, okay? Gail, Rank, Gail King said something out of this claim shit, okay? And she's making excuses for the bullshit. Bitch, you've done this like four or five times already, criticizing men about these rape cases. Russell Simmons, um, R. Kelly, Michael Jackson. You've done this enough to know what the hell you're doing and how to back out of this. You know the ins and outs, okay? So stop making excuses and saying, oh, well, I'm going to go talk to my company. Bitch, you've been sucking white guys off to get in the position you were in, okay? That's why you never came out YV Harnstein, okay? They nutted all over you and Oprah. They probably gang-banged them in the freaking, in, in, you know what I'm saying? Like, they probably ghetto-gagged Oprah and Gayle King somewhere, okay? Facts. That's facts. I believe that. I believe that. That's why she's single. That's why she ain't got no black man, Okay? Because black men would probably be around her and be like, damn, all these white guys, you know, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? So, please, get out of here with that. You're 60. You're single. Um, if I was Snoop Dogg, I'd definitely beef up security just in case. You know what I'm saying? Because you already know it's coming from the... 
Gail King is going to come with like 20 people at your front door. It's not even going to be secretive. It's going to be ding dong. Hey, we're here. Let's shoot it out. Like, all you have to do, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, and as African American general, you are trash, okay? You were trash. Terrible. You and Obama were fucked. Only Obama, and Obama just was getting told what to do. You actually had the position of, you know, outer land defense, you know, and because of a few policies, not even laws, policies, you let nine Marines and uh, like maybe I think it was like 40, 50 American civilians die by uh, ben Benghazi in Benghazi with some ISIS radicalists. Bitch, please. You were supposed to call in airstrikes. You were supposed to call in help. And it was like two weeks of them niggas holding shit down and they died, okay? You were trash. Trash. Okay? And I wasn't even going to talk about this, but I'm just putting my two cents in it. I wouldn't be worried if I was Snoop Dogg. The black community got Snoop Dogg back. Um, we'll shoot it out because we already know they're going to come through the front door. And I wouldn't even be, I would, I would not sweat this. I would beef up security. But I would not even be sweating this. I would still go in on Gail King, Gail King if I was Snoop Dogg. And that's what she needs. She deserves an ass with me for what she did. And on that note, I'm out.